It's Monday, so it's time for the Weekend Box Office Report, brought to you by AMC Theatres. Coming in at the number one spot for the fourth week in a row was Jurassic World, taking in $30.9 million. Jurassic World becomes the fastest film in history to hit the $550 million domestic mark in just 24 days, and has also become the fifth highest grossing film worldwide of all time. In the number two spot for the third weekend in a row is the Pixar film Inside Out, bringing in $30.1 million million for a 246 million domestic total in just three weeks. It also became the highest grossing film in history to never be at number one at the box office, beating out 2002's My Big Fat Greek Wedding at $241 million. In third spot is Terminator Genesis, making two, making $28.7 million. In the number four spot is Magic Mike XXL, bringing in $11.6 million. And rounding out the top five is Ted 2, making $11 million. John, what stands out to you about this week's box office report. Uh, as some of you I should point out on the graphic, it said Jurassic World 43 point something. That was actually the long weekend total. The actual weekend total proper was 30.9 million. Um, this is a, an interesting weekend because there's a couple of really continuous big pleasant surprises and a couple of disappointments. Obviously, it all starts with Jurassic World at this point. Look, even after the opening weekend, which nobody saw coming, Nobody saw that opening weekend coming. Even those of us who saw then saw the numbers, we thought, okay, well, it's not going to last. It's a good movie. It's a fun movie. It's a movie I enjoyed, but it's not a movie I was loving out of my mind and thought, I'm going to line up and see this three or four times in a row like I did with the original Avengers. And so I thought, you know, it's not going to do have those types of legs. Four weeks later, still <laughs> at number one. It just keeps rolling. Very impressive numbers. And I, I just, I've given up predicting when it's going to stop. Like, I just don't know. As far as Inside Out goes, my favorite movie of the year so far. I honestly thought that that record by my big fat Greek wedding, biggest box office in history, having never actually been number one. I That was one of those records that I thought would never be beaten. I thought you just, you cannot make north of 240 million in the domestic box office and never be number one. And the special combination of Inside Out with Jurassic World, and we've seen that come to fruition, obviously disappointing results for Terminator Genesis. Obviously disappointing results for Magic Mike XXL. I think a lot of people thought, and I believe I saw a number that said 92% it might have actually been 94, but I'll go more conservative, say 92. Of the audience that went to go see the movie were actually female. 92%. <laughs> That's unheard of. That's I don't think uh, Sex in the City had those kinds of numbers. So a little bit disappointing there, but overall, man, it's just it continues to be a Jurassic World. Anyway, Schnepp, anything stands out to you about the box office? People keep wanting to see dinosaurs. I mean, that's uh, <laughs> the most amazing thing to me is... Uh, I mean, even with all the criticism of Jurassic World and people like, you know, pointing out, you know, plot holes and some story problems and this and that, people are seeing this movie in droves yeah, and, and droves and droves. And like anyone I talk to, even if they're like, yeah, I didn't really like it, but you saw it. Yeah, I totally had to see it. Yeah, it's like one of those <laughs> things where I haven't even gotten a chance yet to see Terminator Gen Genesis is how you say it, right? Yeah. Genesis, Terminator Sega uh, Genesis. Sega Genesis. <laughs> um, I don't want to say that from now on. I'm just uh, taking that. Um, I still want to see it, even though it's, it didn't get, you know, the greatest reviews, but I'm still psyched to see that movie. I'm disappointed that, you know, that it got bad, you know, not that good reviews and that the public didn't go out to see it. But I'm still I still have like my sights really high to see that film. So, Mark. yeah, I mean, look, this is all about the Fourth of July and what families want to go see. And I think that families proved we want a really fun theater experience like Jurassic World that the whole family can enjoy mm -hmm. or Inside Out, which is great for kids and adults on different levels. Magic Mike XXL and Terminator Jenny Smith proved <laughs> how marginalized <laughs> they can be. I mean, look, you, you had these great franchises. How long have you been waiting for that one? <laughs> I've been sitting on that one for a few weeks now. Thanks for watching. I mean, it's just it, 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 it's not it's disappointing, but it's not unexpected, especially when you actually see those films. They're not the quality of Jurassic World or Inside Out. And I could argue, and I have argued, that Inside Out is the best film of the year. Jurassic World might be the most satisfying theater experience. I think it's right up there with Avengers Age of Ultron at Mad Max Fury Road. And for Inside Out to do what it's doing, my big fat Greek wedding, look out, there's a new Scotty Pippen in town, and its name <laughs> is Inside Out. To never quite be number one, to be that much of a monster at the box office, it's, it's a great time for movies. It's a bunch 
bummer for Terminator because the, it, I didn't like the movie, and I don't think it deserved to make more than it did, but I love Arnold. He was great in Terminator Genesis, and to see this franchise going south like this, I don't think it's going to recover until you can maybe get the rights back to James Cameron in a couple of years. Well, I think you nailed it What with saying is it's the family films that really, for July 4th weekend, you have Jurassic World and you have Inside Out, and none of the other films, even in those top five, are, are family-related films, so... They can't possibly be one or two. You know, it is. You mentioned the whole Arnold thing too, and I am one of those very rare creatures that actually didn't mind Terminator Sega Genesis. I actually did not. <laughs> mind, I, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying, man, I really love that movie. No, but I, I didn't hate it. I'm one of the few people who didn't. It is unfortunate because I honestly don't think Arnold has ever been better than when he started coming back. His look, seriously, his performances in The Last Stand, mm -hmm. Maggie. Um, he wasn't even that bad in that Sylvester Stallone Escape movie, plan. Escape Plan. And I thought uh, he's never been better in a Terminator movie than he was here. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the uh, material was right or that the material worked. But I think it's really unfortunate that Arnold has never been better, but obviously he's not the draw anymore. And that's that's kind of an unfortunate thing. That's right. And Ted too. Also, it, I think that it, if people wanted to go see an R-rated film, that Ted two is going to take some of the the yeah. heat away from Terminator Magic Mike as well. Good point.